everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I have a buy it or pass it for you. As you know, in the beauty industry, there is makeup releases like all the time. And this is just my way of going through the items and deciding whether I'm going to actually buy the product or if I'm just going to pass on it. So um, before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that I'm so sorry if I find, sound kind of scratchy. Um, I have started feeling really sick and I'm just going to do my best to kind of <clears throat> make it through this video for you guys. So before we get started, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so by hitting that big red button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of any future videos that I have. I normally upload every Monday and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll have those linked down below for you guys. So to start this buy it or pass it today, we are going to start off with Becca Cosmetics and Chrissy Teigen. Um, they are doing another collaboration. I They have actually already previously collaborated before um, I did not pick up that item this is also something I will not be picking up so the items that they are releasing uh, include a endless bronze and glow compact shimmering skin perfector pressed highlighter uh, they did actually combine three different colors in one compact from moonstone beach nectar and aloha bronze um, you have a glow body oil okay Three different glow glosses that are $22 a piece. So let's start off with your highlighter. Number one, I am not a fan of multicolored highlighters. I like different compacts, or at least um, I like highlighters to be separated if they are in the same compact. I do not necessarily like when they are side by side. Um, <clears throat> it, it makes it very hard if you want to use a specific color in order to get that one because let's face it that top part that top highlighter which I think of course is pretty my brush is really not going to be able to get in there and just get that one color to be able to apply it so that's the main reason I will not be getting that um, the the glow body oil number one I am NOT a fan of body oils I just it makes me feel gr grimy and I don't I don't typically like that. If I want to make a spritz of glow, I would probably break down one of my highlighters and make my own formula. Um, there are plenty of YouTube videos to teach you how to do that um, so if you want to get your own body glowing spray. Um, I think that is much more feasible than one forty-two dollar bottle of oil and of course the lip glosses they're really pretty um but i'm just going to be passing on this whole collection those are 22 dollars a piece um i do have a bunch of lip glosses in my collection so i'm not going to need any more um and definitely something that is not going to be screaming my name so this whole collection i definitely will be passing on all right so nyx is releasing a new palette this is the palette right here um this is the swear by it eyeshadow palette it includes 40 cool and warm tone shades um and this is going to be 35 dollars now when i first saw this my immediate reaction was it was a that big viseart palette um that they came out with um, this palette looked gorgeous but it did not have it I don't think it was any shimmers I think it was an all matte palette um, so this one does have mattes and shimmers but I don't know I just I'm not a fan of the NYX eyeshadow formula so and for $35 I mean I know you get 40 shades but with 40 shades this does look like it's going to be a bigger eyeshadow palette I do typically like the smaller eyeshadow palettes um, something like this this is my Too Faced uh, Sweet Peach palette I like it to be a little bit more compact a little bit more um, this kind of helps me focus on what looks I want to do versus this big old palette you know I'm not a makeup artist I'm just a makeup enthusiast um, so it would be hard for me to look at this palette and see exactly what I want to do. I would literally probably take a good few minutes looking at this palette trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do because there's just so much going on. So 
um, I will be passing on that. So Kylie Cosmetics came out with a new eyeshadow palette. Actually, she came out with two, but we're only talking about this one. Um, it is the Sorta Sweet eyeshadow palette. So there's nothing special about this palette. These are colors that we all have. Um, and for $42, I don't think I want to give her my money. Um, you're basically just paying for Kylie's name when it comes to this eyeshadow palette, and that's not how I choose to spend my money. So this is going to be a hard pass for me. So ColourPop Cosmetics has come out with two new eyeshadow palettes along with three new lippies. Um, it is the Soul and Mar um, eyeshadow palettes. Each of them are $12 a piece. Uh, you also get, like I said, three new lip shades and four Super Shock highlighters. So it is a whole set. This is actually already available. Now, I did just buy the Violet Voss Flamingo palette, so to me, when I look at this, I kind of feel like I already have these colors in a complete set. Um, I just, I don't know. Maybe if I would have saw these before I had gotten my Flamingo set, I would be interested in purchasing them. Um, but since I already did that, I'm going to be passing on these two. I do like the ColourPop um, eyeshadow palettes. I think they are fabulous and for $12 a piece you cannot go wrong with that. You get some really nice quality eyeshadows. Um, they're lippies like I said. I do have a ton of lipsticks that I have to go through so I'm trying to not purchase anything from that unless, unless something spectacular happens. Milk Cosmetics came out with a new eyeshadow palette. It is the 27 eyeshadow palette. Um, how much is this? I think it's like 50 something dollars. I'm not really sure. I would definitely have that listed down below for you guys. I know Milk Cosmetics is an extremely expensive brand, but I have heard some really, really good things about their eyeshadow palettes or their eyeshadows in general. The Gemini palette, I definitely, I had my eye on that and I ultimately decided to pass on that. With the 27 palette, um, to me it really just looks like the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. Um, I'm pretty sure I have most of those colors. The swatches, I mean they do look okay on a lighter skin tone but if you look at these swatches on this darker skin tone I, they don't look as good so I do not think this is a palette that would work for everybody and like I said it's definitely more expensive so I'm not going to be purchasing this right, so Tarte Cosmetics has released not I know they released another eyeshadow palette that I had talked about in my previous one which was the, which was the Love Trust and Fairy Dust eyeshadow and cheek palette um, this is one is I'm still interested in I have not seen it in person yet um, that it is one I am waiting to kind of swatch in store my store did not put it out when I went um, but they just released a new eyeshadow palette and it's a new rainforest of the sea and these two look very similar I did put a side-by-side -side comparison in swatches for you guys and I don't know I mean these are just way too similar I'm not definitely not gonna be picking up both I'm not gonna be picking up the rainforest of the sea one because it, it does not look as appealing as the, the fairy one but I'm just kind of surprised that they would do these two eyeshadow palettes so close in time together um, with them being so similar so I'm gonna have to say no to the rainforest of the sea and like I said I'm still wanting to see the other one in store but I don't know I don't know what they were thinking there so Fenty Beauty has dropped a new mini collection um, definitely a new eyeshadow palette it is called the Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette I really really love the name they also dropped two brushes, an eyeliner, and an eye primer. The eyeshadow palette, I am actually going to pass on. The first eyeshadow palette that she came out with, I did swatch that in store and I was not impressed at all. Um, this one, I would probably wait, even if I was interested, swatch, to swatch it in store to see what I thought. Um, it's nothing that I would jump on the bandwagon and say, yes, I'm going to get it. But it is also $59 and that is just a really high priced eyeshadow palette. I know the packaging is gorgeous, but do the shades perform to that $59 price tag? The two brushes, um, 
I think are probably going to be good brushes, but they're a little bit more a higher price brush than I prefer to pay. Um, I do enjoy my Sigma brushes, and I think these are actually even more um, higher priced than my Sigma brushes. The eyeliner, I don't need those. I have a couple favorites that I'm just sticking with. The eye primer, I am kind of interested in. Um, that one is $22. As soon as I run out of my two eye primers that I have, I will probably pick that up and test that out. But everything else in this collection is a no for me. All right, so Ulta has a new brand coming to their stores. It is supposed to be a prestige brand. Um, this is, I believe, funded by Revlon, and it is called the Flesh Collection, or Flesh Beauty. <laughs> okay, uh, you got eyeshadow palettes, foundation sticks, you got highlighters and lipsticks and all different kinds of stuff going on. And none of this looks appealing to me. And okay, listen to this. So the foundation stick is called the Firm Flesh Thick Stick Foundation. All right. Um, the blush is Tender Flesh Blush. How about the lipstick? The Fleshy Lips Lipstick. Who is doing your PR? Like, who who's thinking of these names? Um, eyeshadow Palette. The Flesh Color Eyeshadow Palette. That sounds really gross. <laughs> um, or how about their highlighter drops? The Ripe Flesh Glisten Drops. That sounds like something out of a horror movie. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, listen to this. Their highlighting powder is called the Flesh to Flesh Highlighting Powder. Flesh to Flesh. <laughs> I mean, I guess as far as creativity goes, and for naming, you definitely went above and beyond, but that definitely, that just does not... I really want to know what their concept of thinking was when they were going through and naming all their products um, because none of this sounds appealing to me so I will be passing on this whole entire collection I will not try anything from it and I just I just we're just gonna say no 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 so BH Cosmetics has a new eyeshadow palette for you guys um, it is the Desert Oasis palette. Now this palette has definitely caught my interest. I really like the design of this palette. I like the shades in this palette. You get mattes, you get shimmers. Um, it's only $22 and I'm a huge fan of BH Cosmetics. I've loved their brushes that I've gotten and my very first palette was a huge success. Um, so I definitely want to give them another shot, try something different, try something new. Um, so I will more than likely be picking this up. Like I said, I really like the colors, I really like the design, and I really like BH Cosmetics as a company. The eyeshadow quality is so good for such a little price, and I just, I really, really, really enjoy their brand. I'm super excited for this one. And last but not least, we have the new eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The information about this release just came out. Um, it is the Norvina palette, and I am so freaking stoked about this palette. This palette comes out July 17th on 8BH.com, which I will be purchasing it from there. Um, July 29th online at Ulta Beauty. Uh, August 7th online at Sephora, Macy's, Dillard's, Nordstrom. And also in August, it says international retail launches online. So, um... I think this palette is stunning. The packaging is beautiful. I love that she went with a, a, a purple lilac color on the outside. I cannot wait. I love Anastasia Bellevue Hills. I love the eyeshadow palettes that they come out with. Um, I know we've been waiting for this one for quite some time and I'm really, really, really excited about it. As soon as this releases on July 17th, I will definitely be picking this up and getting a review for you guys. Um, and I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This just screams my name. I am an eyeshadow palette junkie anyway. Um, so I'm super, super stoked about this one. Anyways, guys, that is it for this buy it or pass it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.